Hello and welcome to World War II Part 13, The Balkans and the Wider War. So as we have followed in recent parts, okay, Italy um, over parts 11 and 12 launched um, ill-prepared assaults on Greece as well as in Africa um, and have been taking a shellacking pretty much, um, especially from the British um, in North Africa and the Greeks um, on the Greek-Albanian front. So let us continue the war, okay, on 14th of February, okay, the Greeks seize Hill 1178 in the Sindeli area um, after fierce fighting. And also February 14th, okay, the first contingents, okay, um, of the Africa Corps land in Tripoli in Libya, okay. It's a battalion of light infantry um, and an anti-tank battalion. These are advance guard um, of the German Expeditionary Force, which will comprise the 15th Armored Division and the 5th Light Motorized Divisions. In Italian East Africa, okay, South Africa and African troops occupy um, Kis, uh, Kismayu, okay, in Italian Somaliland. Now, okay, on February 15th, okay, North Africa, apart from oasises of Kufra and Jarabub, okay, the whole of Serenia is in British hands. Um, in the battle that just ended, the Italians have lost 150,000 men, um, you know, 20,000 killed, 130,000 prisoners. They've lost 850 artillery pieces, 400 tanks, and thousands um, of motorised and tracked vehicles. The British have only lost 500 dead, okay, and combined with wounded and missing, have lost just less than 2,000 men and have pretty much wiped out an Italian army of 150,000 and left the remains scattered, okay? Now, the British never deployed during this campaign more than 32,000 men, and they've literally dissected and torn the Italian army apart. Now, under German pressure, um, Turkey and Bulgaria, meanwhile, sign a pact of friendship uh, by which Turkey undertake, undertakes not to regard um, the passage of German troops through Bulgaria as an act of war. So we see more preparations for Hitler um, and the Baltic attack. Now, in the Far East, OK, Australian troops land at Singapore. OK, Australian troops land at Singapore. Now, on 23rd of February, okay, three French forces land in Eritrea, okay, um, in Italian East Africa. And on 24th of February, okay, in Italian Somaliland, uh, the British succeed in crossing the left bank at River Juba, um, and the Italians retire towards Mogadishu, of course, um, people modern day may know of that city. And on 25th of February, okay, um, the capture of Mogadishu by the East and West African troops um, is completed. Um, the Egyptians are not doing well in East Africa. Um, either you know they're pretty much suffering disasters um, in every ear, uh, arena where they are currently f fighting now on 27th of february a very momentous day in north africa it is the first um, noted and documented british encounter between british forces and german troops of the africa corps okay february 27th 1940 the, uh, 41 the first day they actually meet up now in italian east africa on 28th okay british aircraft bombed the town of asmara okay in eritrea now, basically, um, it's also announced, okay, that the um, eastern approaches to Singapore Harbour are now going to be mined and close to shipping from March 3rd. Now, part of this is caused by a German ship flying a Japanese flag launching um, a bombardment with their guns um, on an Australian port. Okay, it's raised temperatures in the whole region. Now, people are starting to prepare for any eventuality, especially with Japan signing in to the Tripartite Pact. And also, because the Americans have been warned, as I documented, that Japan are planning to attack many areas in the Pacific, including, ominously, Pearl Harbor. Now, in North Africa, on 1st of March, okay, three French troops commanded by General Jacques-Philippe Leclerc, okay, forced surrender of Italian troops defending Kufra. Um, Bulgaria, meanwhile, also signs in with the Tripartite Pact. Now, in Yugoslavia, okay, um, there's great concern because now, with Bulgaria signing the Tripartite Pact, um, Romania's alignment to Germany, um, you know, Austria, Czechoslovakia, pretty much they are now surrounded okay by axis um, borders in every direction on 2nd of march okay mussolini arrives in albania to inspect the troops fighting there um, now in preparation for an attack on greece okay troops at 12th german army begin to cross the J danube river um, into bulgaria the famed river that even you know um, attila the hun crossed um, basically under command of general von list the 12th army um, is made up of five army corps okay the first armored group with um 
um, three divisions um, under Von Cleest and the second armoured division um, attached to 11 Corps and the 8th Airborne Corps um, commanded by General Richthofen. Okay. Now Germany admit their occupation of Bulgaria um, and Romania passes a series of anti-Semitic measures on the lines of those enforcing Germany rather ominously. Uh, the British mission returns from um, Ankara to Athens. Okay. And uh, talks in Turkey have not achieved an anti-Axis coalition. I think Turkey following the First World War just doesn't want any involvement really and want to stay neutral unless they are attacked like Spain uh, also decided to do. So on 4th of March, okay, first convoy of British cargo ships and warships leave Alexandria with troops and supplies for Greece. Now, as I said on last part, um, Churchill had ordered um, the North African commanders to start preparing to send everything they can spare, um, everything that's not essential, and start supplying Greece, anticipating a German attack. Now, four cruisers and four destroyers uh, protect the convoy. Uh, General, okay, um, Maitland Wilson, Henry Maitland Wilson, uh, uh, appointed on February 28th to command uh, the British troops in Greece. He arrives in Athens. Um, and on 5th of March, Britain um, severs diplomatic relations um, with Bulgaria. Now, on 6th of March, okay, German military authorities in Holland condemn to death 18 members of the underground resistance movement, um, the first victims of Dutch resistance to the German invaders. Now, now, the Admiralty, okay, also announces on 6th of March that um, German official communiques claim to have destroyed 19 more battleships, 6 more aircraft carriers, 40 more cruisers and 30 more submarines than the Royal Navy had at the outbreak of the war. This is propaganda so that the Germans can announce to German people of how many British ships they're sinking to keep morale up. Now, on 7th of March, okay, first contingents at BEF, okay, to Greece, land in the port of um, Piraeus um, and at Volos. The land force consists of um, not the 100 thousand troops okay um, but of four divisions okay 57,000 men two of those divisions are actually um, armored as well and also in the Atlantic um, the U-47 of uh, commander Gunther Prien of course who um, managed to find his way into Scapa Flow and attack the Royal Oak okay um, basically um, sorry just a minute Yeah, um, its commander, okay, um, the um, Captain Gunther Prien um, and his entire crew perish um, in a fight in the Atlantic. Now, on 8th of March, okay, US Senate passes a land lease bill by 60 votes to 31. Britain and Greece are to get military supplies under the Act at once. Um, and London suffers um, the heaviest air attacks they've suffered for some time. Obviously, bad weather has also paused a halt to much of the German attack um, on the UK from the air. Now, on 9th of March, okay, Mussolini's presidency Italians launch um, an offensive in Albania half of which is now in Greek hands. Um, they gained some success in area um, of Malitaza um, and Mount Trebesini, south of Berat. Um, but by 14th of March, okay, the Greeks have already succeeding, uh, succeeded in halting the Italian thrust. So they have five good days of attacking before the Greeks um, hold them. Uh, Portsmouth now starts to come under almost daily attack from the Luftwaffe um, bombers at the moment. Um, 11th of March, okay, disorders are breaking out in Yugoslavia um, with demonstrations against Germany and Italy. Um, um, obviously, Hitler will deal with the Balkans soon. Now, on 13th of March, okay, fierce fighting continues, okay, between attacking Italians and the defending Greeks, involving 32 Italian infantry regiments and 34 Greek regiments. The Italians are making for Clisura, which was captured by the Greeks. They do not succeed um, in breaking the Greek line, and the fighting goes on to the end of the month. But the intention of Italian command um, is less to gain territory than to wear down the enemy. I think the Italians are fully aware now the Germans are coming and all they need to do um, is keep the Greek units tied down and just cause some attritional damage. Now, in East Africa, okay, in East Africa, um, British detachments arriving by sea from Aden um, land at Bebara, okay, in British Somaliland, uh, drive out the Italians who have occupied it and advance westwards towards the Ethiopian border. Bristol is heavily bombed um, and President Roosevelt promises aid, um, saying the end of compromise with tyranny. Basically, Roosevelt saying, we've had it, uh, you know, we're going to help end tyranny. Now, Hitler, speaking in Berlin, um, states that England, and I quote, England will fall. Eternal providence does not let those be victorious who are ready to shed the blood of men merely for the attainment of their own ends. 
Well, that's exactly what Adolf Hitler's doing. He's shedding the blood of Germans for his own ends. Uh, 17th of Marco, okay, General Cunningham's troops, um, you know, cross the Ethiopian border from British Somaliland and reach um, Jijiga, okay, recently evacuated um, by the Italians. Um, and meanwhile, on 18th of March, Spain annexes the free territory of Tangier. Now, on 19th of March, okay, basically, London has one of its heaviest um, air attacks um, that it has yet encountered in the war. 20th of March, okay, um, the capture of Jarabub, okay, by the British in North Africa. And in East Africa, in British Somalia and British contingents advancing from Berbera, um, re reach Hargeisha uh, near the Ethiopian border. Plymouth again comes in a massive air attack. And on 21st of March, okay, Italian commander Garibaldi takes over as the new governor of Libya and commander-in-chief of Italian forces in North Africa in place of General Graziani, um, who asked Mussolini on February 8th to replace him. Now, Plymouth is attacked again massively, okay, with incendiary devices. On 22nd of March, okay, in Ethiopia, the town of Harar, um, west of Jijiga, is declared an open city by the Italians. They know they're going to lose it, um, so there's no point fighting for it. Um, in, a, in, a, in a lightning thrust, okay, Rommel's troops occupy El Aguila, okay, on the border between Tripolitania and Cyrenia. So Rommel launches his first strike on 24th of March. Now, a diplomatic note, okay, from British government warns the Yugoslav government not to align itself um, with the Axis powers. Now the USSR okay, assures Turkey um, of neutrality in the event of Turkey being involved in the war. So basically Russia says if Turkey enters the war we're staying neutral with you. Um, and on 25th of March, okay, Yugoslavia signs the Tripartite Pact. The agreement is reached in Vienna um, in, in presence of Hitler, Ribbentrop and General Oshiono, uh, the Japanese ambassador in Berlin. Protests take place in Belgrade when the news is announced. So they have capitulated and decided to side with Adolf Hitler and sign the Tripartite Pact uh, with Italy, Japan, Bulgaria and the other members. Now, meanwhile, okay, in East Africa, British troops occupy um, the town of Harar. Now, in Mediterranean, okay, reconnaissance aircraft, okay, of the 10th Flieger Corps, which, as I said, um, was now being based near Sicily, um, basically see that the battleships Barnum and Warspy and the aircraft carrier Formidable are back in the naval base at Alexandria. So they are still um, trying to follow um, the Formidable and the British warships. Now, basically, okay, demonstrations against signing a tripartite pact break out all over Yugoslavia. Okay, protests come from trade unions, peasants, the church, the army, everyone. Um, and broadcasts go out to Yugoslavia, um, stating, will Yugoslavia sell her honour and liberty for a German promise, which is never a wise thing to do. Hitler had promised many people, Chamberlain in the West, many things, um, and had reneged on those deals. Now, in Eritrea, okay, um, tw after 12 days of fierce fighting, you know, the Italians withdraw from Keren towards Asmara. Now, re Italian resistance is just seen to be collapsing and crumbling. The battle for Keren had lasted eight weeks and cost the British about 4,000 dead. Italy had lost about 3,000 dead. Um, and basically, you know, Britain had won through. Now, on the 27th of March, a fateful day, okay, as Yugoslavia goes into revolt. A bloodless coup is carried out, okay, by a group of Air Force. Um, officers led by Chief of Staff General um, Dusan Simovic, okay, former government leaders are arrested. The Council of Regency under Prince Paul is dismissed and the prince exiled. Uh, the 17 year old son of murdered King Alexander takes over as King Peter II, and a government of national unity is set up under General Sim Simovic, um, who, as one of his first acts, signs a non aggression pact with Moscow. <laughs> Now, Hitler signs in relation to this, okay, Directive Number 25, ordering um, the immediate liquidation of Yugoslavia as soon as the German army is capable of carrying out the attack, um, a country which must, since the military coup d'etat, um, must be therefore regarded as an enemy and therefore be completely crushed as soon as possible. The OKH, okay, the German military command, prepares new plans for Operation Marita, making it necessary um, to defer Operation Barbarossa, the invasion of Soviet Union, which I will cover in large detail um, from mid-May until the end of June. And congratulations, uh, consultations sorry, are finalised in Washington between representatives at British and American general staffs um, to plan strategy in the event of America being forced directly into the war. So the British and Americans, even now um, towards the end of March 1941 are already preparing plans for how and why they will um, work together on military actions, even though America's not in the war yet.
Now, in Italian East Africa, okay, um, the Italians abandon um, the town of Diradawa, okay, a town in Ethiopia, um, northwest of Harar, um, and withdraw towards Addis Ababa. Now, okay, British forces occupy Diradawa, um, not surprisingly enough, soon after. In the beginning of the enemy counteroffensive, German and Italian forces advanced east from El Aguila, okay, in North Africa. So, Rommel is finally beginning his counterattack moves against um, the British and Allied forces in North Africa. So basically, okay, in the Mediterranean, late in the afternoon, okay, Admiral Cunningham's British forces reach Alexandria Harbour, where a religious service is held, okay, to celebrate the success at Cape Matawan, a battle in which the British lost only one aircraft. Hitler, meanwhile, approves um, the plan to invade Yugoslavia, and the Yugoslav army starts taking up positions on the border, but their army, while large, is totally unprepared for the attack of the now um, battle-hardened Wehrmacht and battle-experienced Wehrmacht. Now, at the end of March, okay, Rommel's Italian and German forces attack Mersa Brega, north of El Aguila. Okay, the British are forced to withdraw, abandoning 50 armoured cars and 38 light tanks, um, and the US receives and rejects German and Italian in protest notes against seizure of ships in the free zone. Now, a US scientific military expedition arrives in Greenland to study the possibility of setting up military bases there. So the Americans are already making all preparations, planning with the British, um, investigating Greenland on where, uh, you know, potential naval air and land bases can be set up. You know, they're already, you know, making moves in the Pacific. They're already preparing to join the war. I think the American leaders fully um, anticipate that they are going to have to join the war at some point. Now, the director, okay, of American Naval Operations, okay, pinpoints out that pinpoints out that any initiatives taken by Axis powers generally start on a Saturday or Sunday, um, and urges the Allies, okay, to intensify. Okay, urges the Allies to intensify, um, you know, their um, security measures on Saturdays and Sundays. Okay. So meanwhile, what I want to do is, okay, I want to take a closer look at the battle, okay, of Gardo and Matapan, okay. Now, it was the biggest naval battle of the war so far. It takes place off Cape Matawan, uh, the southern point most of Greece. At 1pm, okay, a British Sunderland flying boat um, on reconnaissance mission spots the Italian 3rd Naval Division, um, consisting of cruisers Trieste, Trento um, and Bolgano, proceeding southeast. Now, these are ships of the Italian naval squadrons that is making um, for the eastern Med, okay, south of Crete. Um, to attack British shipping supply in Greece from Alexandria. They're trying to cut off the British supply in Alexandria. Now, in addition to these three cruisers, the um, squadron also includes the battleship Vittorio Veneto, okay, which left Naples on night at 26th of March, um, carrying the flag of Admiral Iacchino, okay, commanding the fleet at sea. The first naval division, okay, comprises the cruisers Zara, Pola, okay, and Fium. It's proceeding um, from Taranto, and the cruisers Duca, um, Abruzzi, and Garibaldi um, from Brindisi were four, four flotillas of destroyers. Now, the ships are spotted, okay, by a British flying boat, um, and the British fleet um, in Alexandria is warned, okay, at 7 p.m., Admiral Sir Andrew Cunningham, Commander in Chief at British Mediterranean Fleet, leaves Alexandria Harbour with every ship he has the battleships Valiant, Barnum, and Warspite, the aircraft carrier for and nine destroyers, okay, the cruisers Orion, um, Ajax, Perth and Gloucester with four destroyers, okay, um, the Hex, the Hasty, um, the Hereward and the Vendetta under the command of Rear Admiral, okay, Prindon with Pelly um, on board the Orion are ready to sail from the port of Piraeus now, in order not to arouse suspicions um, of the Japanese consul who he says um, reports all movements um, of British ships to the enemy, the Japanese consul in Alexandria, so because they're members of the Triopartate part, the Japanese consul has clearly been told to let the Axis know of any major ship movements, so they fool him okay, and he doesn't realise the ships have made uh, a move and left Admiral Cunningham, okay, he's been uh, he's made a point of being seen at the golf club during the afternoon with the suitcase giving the impression that he'll be spending the night ashore. Now his ruse is a total success um, and at 6.40pm when it's already dark he rejoins the war spy and sails for Crete. Now at morning at 28th, okay, um, the Italian fleet is off Gardo, okay, a small island south of Crete and here the ships at 3rd Division meet Rear Admiral um, Whippelli's flotilla and after an exchange of fire lasting 40 minutes the British ships withdraw hoping to lure the Italian ships after them um, towards the main British force coming from Alexandria. Now, the sudden British retreat, okay, looks suspicious um, to the Italian admiral, and he orders his cruisers.
forces to break off the pursuit and turn around. But the British also change course, okay, so that they are no longer pursued, but pursuing. The British try and lure them in, and when it's uh, clear that the Italians are not falling for it and start pulling out, anticipating a surprise, uh, the British ships quickly turn direction and then head um, for the Italian ships and chase them. The Vittoria Veneto, okay, joins in action, um, but with, with, without effect. You know, and during afternoon, uh, the battleship is subjected to a vicious aerial bombardment and is hit by an aerial torpedo. Now, this is just after 3 p.m., okay, and at about 4.30 p.m., the Vittorio Veneto gets underway again, but at much reduced speed, okay, and they put a ring um, of Italian cruisers and destroyers around the battleship to try and protect it. Now, that engagement, okay, shifts towards Cape Matawan, okay, at the extreme south tip of the Peloponnese. Now, at sunset, okay, a British aircraft attack again. Now, in defence that battleship, okay, the Italian ships put up a smoke screen and open a violent anti-aircraft barrage. The cruiser Polo, okay, gets hit by a torpedo, takes in a large amount of water and has to come to a complete halt. Now, the Italian Admiral, okay, sends the other two cruisers at First Division, the Zara and the Fium, um, and the destroyer flotilla, um, with a number of destroyers in, um, to help Admiral. Admiral Canatillo, okay, um, help, her, uh, help him in his situation, not expecting, okay, an enemy presence. But the Italian ships, okay, um, did not take any security precautions, um, such as sending out um, any aircraft or shipping to see if there were other British ships in the area. Now, the British ships in close pursuit, okay, have already observed the cru cruiser Polar um, on their radar screens. You know, and at 10.30 p.m. at night, um, the stricken Italian ship, okay, um, is only about three quarters of a mile from the British battleships Valiant, Barnum and Warspike, which have their 15-inch guns trained on a... Uh, the British ships realise that Admiral um, Cataneo's rescue ships are approaching, and within a few minutes, okay, the three British battleships um, bring down a hail um, of 15-inch gunfire um, on the Italian cruisers and destroyers. The Zara and the Fium are sunk without being able to fire off a single shot in return. Okay, a pinpoint planned attack by the British battleships in unison fired a huge volley of shells sinking um, you know um, an Italian cruiser and destroyer now many of their crew are killed okay including the Italian admiral himself uh, the cruiser Polar and the destroyers Alfieri and Carducci suffered the same fate okay and are sunk but the night chase fails to catch the, the Vittorio Veneto which manages to reach the port of Toronto on the morning at 29th now the British pick up some 900 prisoners um, but have to break off um, the rescue operation and hurried, hurried really withdraw when the German reconnaissance aircraft fly over so the Germans are looking for the British ships and they don't want the Luftwaffe to launch any kind of raids. So basically, okay, however... Basically, as a result of signals um, from the aircraft, the hospital ship um, Gradiska um, is sent to the spot, but only arrives on 31st of March and succeeds in picking up only 160 survivors. The Greek ships later pick up about 110, um, and the Italians have lost nearly 2,500 Italian soldiers. Now, this basically was a, a naval disaster. You know, the British showed, um, you know, when they initially approached, they tried to lure the Italians into a trap. That failed. The British ships immediately chased after them and, you know, pinpointing the position, lined up the battleships, 15-inch fire, huge volleys of 15-inch fire, Italian ships getting sunk, Italian seamen dying in the water. Um, the Vittorio Veneto obviously managed to escape, but pretty much a disaster. And, you know, those Italian cruisers and destroyers didn't even get a shot off at the British ship. You know, they were targeted at night and fired on before they knew what was happening. They were sinking, you know, ridiculous. Now, in Yugoslavia, okay, at the start of April, okay, the Senate is dissolved and general mobilization of the Yugoslav military is proclaimed. Yugoslavia already has nearly a million man um, army on her borders, but it's going to increase that to nearly 1.5 million. Now, in North Africa at the start of April, okay, Rommel retakes um, Age Dabia um, and Zatina. Now, in Italy and East Africa, okay, British troops push on from Asmara, okay, towards Massawa. Uh, five Italian destroyers in Abba there put to sea and sail um, towards the port of Sedan, but they're spotted by British reconnaissance aircraft and attacked by a squadron um, of torpedo carrying aircraft. Four of them are sunk and the fifth is sculled. So, the the five Italian ships, um, you know, the five Italian destroyers, four are sunk and one is sunk by its own crew after a British aircraft torpedo attack. Just another Italian disaster at sea. Now, meanwhile, it's reported at the start of April that the RAF, okay, has dropped 75,000 tea bags over towns in Holland, bearing the words, Holland will arise. Keep your courage up.
<laughs> now, on 3rd of April, okay, the British evacuate Benghazi. Now, the Axis Offensive launched by um, the Africa Corps and the Italians under command of Rommel um, has met with considerable success, mostly owing to boldness um, of Rommel's moves. Now, the Africa Corps is still under strength and would receive more reinforcements for months um, to come, but he's had a blinding success. Um, he's already forcing the British back in multiple areas. You know, it is what it is. Bristol, meanwhile, suffers another massive air attack. So really, the battle of um, Cape Matawan um, and Gaudo um, and the sinking of five Italian destroyers um, off Italian East Africa is just further indictment of the Italian Navy. You know, from whether it's the port, uh, uh, you know, Taranto or what, you know, had the torpedo defence nets too, too high in the water to stop the torpedoes, no smoke screen. You know, uh, the defences, um, the lacklustre nature of them and the... Uh, bad tactical decisions made by their commanders you know it's really incredible now on april 4th okay uh, age darbia um, is recaptured on april 2nd rommel unleashes an offensive in cyrenia in three directions okay in north towards benghazi northeast to Masus and machili and eastwards towards bengama and ten Jeddah, okay now this threatens the entire british line of communication it's a well-planned um, attack by rommel he's got available the fifth light motorized division which he sends partly in direction of Masus and Chile, um, and partly with Italian Ariet division um, to Bengama and Tengenda um, and the Italian um, Trento and Brescia divisions which he directs towards Benghazi so Rommel is now commanding the Italian forces okay and he's um, organizing them and directing them a little bit better than their commanders did now, basically, okay, Hitler and Matsuoka, okay, the Japanese foreign minister, meet in Berlin on April 4th. They discuss um, the potential of an attack on Singapore and the possibility of war with the United States. You know, Hitler has not been happy the U.S. Um, is seizing ships. He's not happy the U.S. are arming all their merchantmen. Um, and he's not happy about the Lend-Lease supplies um, and other supplies that America are sending to the allies in Europe or what remains of them. Um, so he's trying to entice Japan into the war, but obviously it doesn't work yet. Now, 5th of April, okay, swift advance at Axis forces continue. Um, in the north, they take Derna and capture um, Tenjeda in the south. Now, in Italian East Africa, the Italians evacuate the Ethiopian capital, Addis Ababa. And on 3rd and 4th of April, okay, the Viceroy, the Duke of Awasta, okay, disperse the forces remaining to him into several strong points in the mountainous regions of the country, the redoubts um, of Amber, Alagi, Gala, Sidamo and Amara. Now, the USSR offers Yugoslavia a treaty of friendship, okay, which is immediately accepted. Signing takes place in Moscow, um, but sadly, this will not stop Hitler. And indeed, okay, on the following day, the 6th of April, 5.15 a.m., the German army invades Yugoslavia and Greece officially. So basically, it said, okay, um, it said Axis forces are on the march against Serbian treachery and the British threat. Um, announced the Italian and German newspapers. Um, the Germans attacked Yugoslavia, not surprisingly, without a formal declaration of war. And at dawn, the Luftwaffe, um, under Gorin, um, uh, Gorin's personal directions, launches a heavy attack on Belgrade, okay, the capital, although it's been declared an open city. Um, but this time, it doesn't protect them. A second massive raid is carried out on the following day. And it's a pointless terror attack, okay? It's, um, you know, like Rotterdam, like Warsaw, um, and like many towns, cities in London, uh, that suffer these terror attacks so basically the forces okay now basically hitler you know entrust 21 german divisions okay to invasion of yugoslavia six armored and four motorized now they include the ss adolf hitler um, and the germania divisions um, and the motorized regiment Groys deutschland okay the hungarians contribute six brigades to this operation um, on the german side and the italians on the julian frontier provide eight infantry divisions two motorized one armored um, and some cavalry divisions and the four infantry divisions on albanian frontier now against where aggressors were the 50 you know plus infantry divisions uh, yugoslavia only has 28 uh, divisions in the field and um, only up to 550 um, usable aircraft which will be quickly crushed by the luftwaffe so you know yugoslavia is ill-equipped to deal with a german attack and as you will see um, the attack is swift now the german second army um, immediately sets course for belgrade over the border from austria and hungary and the first armored group okay under general um, von kleist um, advances from bulgaria towards nice um, in the north and montesia um, in the south to prevent yugoslav troops from joining up with greeks uh, the attack from bulgaria is more to seal off the greek border um, from the yugoslav position so they 
cannot withdraw and form a more solidified um, defensive line in unison with the Greeks. So on the very first day of hostilities, the seas, the Yugoslav bank of the Iron Gate, the Rocky Gorge, um, through which the Danube flows along the frontier between Romania and Yugoslavia, between Orsova and Turner Severin. Now, they also threatened Nice. The 12th Army um, under von List attacks both in Yugoslavia towards Strumica in Greece and against the Metaxas line. Now, the Luftwaffe practically destroys the port of Piraeus. Now, Italy officially declares war on Yugoslavia um, and Italian troops occupy some frontier villages um, in Venezia, Julia. Now, basically, 7th of April, okay, the German um, Armoured Corps advancing from Bulgaria um, occupies um, Skopje and then advances on Montesia. Now, in the north of the country, um, the 2nd Army under von Weeks advances on Zagreb. The Italian 2nd Army, okay, crosses the Julian frontier and the Edit Cro uh, Croatian Separatist Movement, um, Ante Pavlic, calls on Croatians to set up a separate state. Now, the German 12th Army enters Greece from Bulgaria, okay, they've sealed off the um, any potential of the Yugoslav army retreating into Greece and now they're officially going into Greece. Now on that area there are only four Greek divisions okay, um, facing von Liss German 12th army um, and at their flank they have the BEF some 30 miles away but obviously not close enough um, to directly interfere in the war. Uh, they also have um, a brigade of Polish volunteers. Now, while another three and a half divisions okay, are on the Metaxas line, um, a system of fortifications about 100 miles long, expanding um, from the Belize Mountains to the mouth of the river Nestos. Um, after hard fighting, okay, the Germans seize the important Rupel Pass. Stukas hammer the brave defenders constantly. Now, on night of 6th of April, okay, British bombers raid Sofia, um, ca uh, the capital of Bulgaria. It looks like nothing more than a British version of Operation Castigo, um, for as with German raid on Belgrade, these raids can have no other effect um, that's caused terror among the civilian population and wind the Bulgarians up. Now on April 8th, okay, only days into attack, okay, um, faced by overwhelming German forces, the Yugoslav army shows signs. Um, it's starting to break up and disintegrate. In south, okay, the forces of the first armoured corps under von Kleist occupy Nice and push on along the Morava Valley towards Belgrade. In Italian East Africa, okay, Masawa, the last centre of Italian resistance in Eritrea is forced to capitulate um, of the 15,000 men they had 4,000 have been killed and 6,000 wounded so the Italians are still losing out um, they seem to do better under German command now, on 9th of April, okay, what line turned up in West Bank German 2nd Armoured Division, which entered Greece from Yugoslavia and took Thessalonica the previous night. The Greek army on the Varda, or Axios, okay, uh, which is a river that flows into Greece from Yugoslavia um, and reaches the sea at Thessalonica, commanded by General Bakapoupoulos, is forced with authority of Supreme Command to surrender. Um, 70,000 men are taken prisoner. 15 German divisions push on towards the Aegean, uh, where they come up against the rest of the Greek force and the BEF. Now in Greece, okay, on April 10th, General Sir Henry Maitland Wilson, um, haunted by the spectre of a second Dunkirk, orders the BEF um, to retire. In Yugoslavia, okay, the defenders of Zagreb offer little resistance and Zagreb falls um, to the German forces advancing south. Um, and Croatia also takes time on April 10th to declare its independence. Now in North Africa, the Australian 9th Division withdraws to Tobruk, uh, the Libyan strong point in which the British have taken refuge under the battering at German and Italian forces is soon completely cut off okay to brook is soon completely cut off the australian 9th division trapped inside now the axis forces okay advancing in echelon literally besiege it every inch of perimeter is within range of german italian artillery um, even working parties in the docks come under fire now in the atlantic okay the first hostile gesture by the Americans against Germany. Uh, during an operation, okay, to pick up survivors from a Dutch freighter sunk off Iceland, uh, the American destroyer Niblack drops debt charges um, against the U-boat responsible for the sinking. So the American destroyer um, responds to a, a merchant ship being sunk and in retaliation the American destroyer drops depth charges. Now on April 11th, okay, the Italian 2nd Army advancing into Yugoslavia from Julia moves in two directions okay, inland um, and along the coast towards Split and Dubrovnik. Now four more Italian divisions cross the border from Albania. Um, the Italians also employ over 300 combat aircraft in these operations in an air um, offensive. The Hungarian 3rd Army divided into 10 brigades 
States, now enters Yugoslavia um, and advances on Novi Sad. And in North Africa, okay, Loma launches a violent attack on Tobruk using the Italian Trento and Brescia divisions attacking along the coast and the German 5th Armoured Division. Now, the besieged garrison, okay, is ready for all eventualities um, and the surprise which Rommel um, therefore thought was in his favour was negated. Now, inside Tobruk perimeter, besides Australian 9th um, Division, are an infantry brigade, an anti-tank regiment and a tank regiment um, under command of General Leslie Moorshead. Now, by the evening, OK, the attack by the Italians and the Germans has been driven off in the first major attack on Tobruk. In Yugoslavia, meanwhile, Belgrade falls to German um, motorised corps advancing from Romania. And now, near the capital, OK, German troops from Hungary join up with those from Romania, so the Germans have linked up. Now, the Italians also advance, okay, taking a number of coastal towns um, in the Dalmatian region. And in North Africa, okay, Axis forces now take Bardia, okay, taken by um, the British um, in their offensive against the Italians. It's now back in Axis hands, and the Germans now advance towards the Egyptian frontier. Incredible. Now, also, following on from the talk of um, American bases in Greenland, um, U.S. troops um, officially occupy Greenland. They go into Greenland, um, you know, to set up bases there. And on April 13th, OK, Belgrade is occupied by the Germans. On the Greek-Albanian front, OK, the powerful Italian offensive against the Greeks um, at Korce, Pemek, Giric, Kasta, um, and Palermos are recaptured and some divisions advance into the Epirus. Now on Malta, okay, aircraft at 10th Fliegerkorps Corps carry out heavy bombing raids on the island. The Axis are just on the ascendancy all over the Mediterranean. You know, the British um, success at Gardo and Matofan you know, while a great naval success is being overshadowed by the Africa Corps' new combined offensive with Italians in North Africa that is driven um, the British and Allied forces back has now besieged to Brook, um, regained many at towns and cities taken. At the same time, Yugoslavia is now basically um, under collapse um, and Greece will soon follow. Um, so really, it's a hollow victory. Now, okay, now, okay, a major thing as well that would have um, a shape on the war in Moscow, okay, Japanese Foreign Minister uh, Matsuoka and the Soviet Foreign Minister Molotov sign a five-year non-aggression treaty between the two countries. And later, even though Hitler would plead with the Japanese to create a second front in Russia, um, they would spend their time fighting in the Pacific and in China, Burma, etc. On 14th, okay, Rommel launches an attack on Tobruk from south using 5th Light Motorized Division and succeeds in breaking through our defences. But by the afternoon, OK, the combined effects of an heavy artillery barrage and a strong counterattack by British infantry again forced the Germans to withdraw. So they've resisted a second direct attack on Tobruk. Now, Tobruk will be a tough nut to crack, OK? Um, for the moment, all Italian and German forces can do is reinforce their siege. They've tried to attack twice and they are having no success. Now, in Yugoslavia on April 16th, German troops occupy Sarajevo and the Italians take Antivari um, and Danilovgrad, OK? Okay. Well, a landing party at San Marco Regiment seizes the island of Krk. Now, in Mediterranean at 2.20 p.m. off the Tunisian coast, okay, um, near the Ken Canar Shoals, a British destroyer flotilla attacks an Italian convoy of five ships with the destroyer escort. Now, all the ships in the convoy and three of the escorting destroyers, uh, the Torigo, the Lampo and the Blano, are sunk. Uh, the British do lose the destroyer Mohawk, but again, it's another major British naval success in the Mediterranean. Now, by April 17th, OK, the Yugoslavian army is pretty much destroyed. The last centres of resistance in Bosnia surrender. Yugoslavia has officially been crushed. Um, already in this hellishly fast campaign of less than 13 days, the Germans have taken over, um, you know, 300,000 prisoners of Yugoslav, Greek, British, um, etc. It's been a lightning campaign. In Italian East Africa, OK, um, in the march um, to North, General Cunningham's troops reached the area of Desi, and important centre uh, northeast of Addis Ababa. The Italians strengthened um, their redoubt at Amber Alaghi, one of the mountain fortress areas. And in Greece on April 18th, okay, um, the German um, 18th Army mountain troops forces the passage of the river Alea Kamon, okay, against resistance at New Zealand's 2nd Division. And the Germans surround Mount Olympus and take the town of Larissa, okay, a town where Alexander spent some time. Um, now the motorised corps okay, of the Germans completes the encircling operation, pressing on Florina and Tricala. And in this way, okay, they've opened a massive breach between the British Expeditionary Force on the left and the Greek armies on the right. And just like in France, um, you know, in the Ardennes and Saddam region, the Germans threw their 
clever manoeuvres and tactics to create a huge hole and the German armies um, now pour through. Now the Greek Prime Minister um, Alexandros Korizis okay, commits suicide um, in anticipation of the German conquest of Greece. So on 19th of April, okay, um, while the Italians advance in the Epirus, the Greeks find their retreat cut off by the SS Adolf Hitler Division, which has attacked on the Pindo and occupied the Mitsovo Pass and the town of Gravina. Now for the Greeks, okay, this is pretty much the end, okay. The frontier is now full of holes. They're under attack on multiple areas and they can no longer um, hold the German and Italian advance. Meanwhile, on April 19th, a massive Luftwaffe air raid um, causes over 2,000 Londoners to be killed in the bombing i will leave part 13 right there we are getting closer to operation barbarossa um i think there'll be one more part okay before i then go into a special um episode covering the planning and the thoughts on barbarossa and then the following episode of course will be the greatest invasion in history operation barbarossa itself the beginning of the great patriotic war but there is part 13 of my ultimate world war ii breakdown the balkans and the wider war